Well, tonight, Orlando businesses in the path of a construction project along Robinson Street bracing for disruptions. OUC is getting ready to start work on that could take this area to have it tied up for weeks. News 6's Treasure Roberts is speaking with business owners who have concerns. Jeff Starks opened Maffrey's near Lake Ivanhoe four years ago. They can find something unique, locally made. He says the community supports small businesses. 2023 was incredible for us, and so I know what my business is, is capable of doing. But these barricades and cones along North Orange Avenue changed everything. But we take this very seriously when we see this sort of disruption. Um, it could have a catastrophic event on whether a store stays open or not. It could potentially be the kiss of death for small businesses. Construction in this area started last October and is still impacting small businesses months later. Is this usually where some of your customers would park? Oh, absolutely. And now they can't park here? Oh, they can't park here at all. Yes, that is, and that is a problem. Come next week, what you see right here, you may also see over here on Robinson Street. Business owners received this note alerting them that on Monday, April 8th, OUC will begin construction, which will cause some of the streets to close off between Crystal Lake Drive and Fern Creek Avenue. A spokesperson for OUC says workers will install a brand new underground electric transmission line. The work includes excavation and the installation of new manholes. The spokesperson adds the objective is to provide the most dependable service possible and meet growth demands in Central Florida. But my worry is uh, that we're having to pivot and on such short notice and anything could happen. So uh, it's that struggle to let people know we are still here and we're, you know, walk over. Matt Duke is the co-owner of the Nook on Robinson Street. Do you foresee the Nook losing money over the next few weeks? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm pretty terrified about that. As a small business, um, you're always walking a line with success. Duke and other business owners believe the city should step in to help. We're all in agreement that uh, public infrastructure is a good thing, but I do believe that um, there should be money set aside to help those that struggle from this. In Orlando, Treasure Roberts, Getting Results, News 6.